It's been a minute since we've gone shopping at Aldi, and this one's gonna be summer inspired, and I'm gonna break it into a two-part what to buy at Aldi for summer 2023, including things for the grill, frozen department, meat, steaks, savory treats, sweet snacks, all that stuff. And best of all, all the things are Bobby approved. And because we're here at Aldi, the prices are rock bottom. Less talking, more shopping. Let's go. My friends, it's always a good day when they have all these savers. And to be a saver of a dollar off literal best in class hot dogs at any grocery store is fantastic. Because yes, these beef hot dogs are organic, but Aldi in the smallest print possible. Let me close the door so I don't waste the energy says 100% grass-fed beef. It's been two years now, I've been begging them, put that in big letters. This is a grass-fed beef, organic hot dog with best in class ingredients. No filler, no mystery meat, or what I call lips and buttholes. Yes, it says sugar there, but it's less than one gram per. And they use classy seasonings like onion powder, garlic powder, and mace. Here's the crazy thing. It's $4.99 for 10 ounces. Nathan's right here is $4.47 for 12 ounces. So yes, this one's slightly more expensive. And yes, we know Nathan sponsors the hot dog eating contest coming up in Coley, Kobe, uh, Coney, Coney Island here, which is, who's the winner of that like, these days? It's not Kobayashi, it's the, you guys know who I'm talking about. So yes, they sponsor it, but I got sidetracked there. Leilani's like, what are you talking about, Bobby? The beef, forget about the fact that it's GMO for a second. It has sorbitol in there. That's a horrible, horrible nasty uh, sweetener. It has sodium erythrobate. That's what makes cured meats like this pink. It's a really bad preservative. It has nitrates added to it. It has natural flavorings added to it. So I'm saying right now, I'm so excited for summer grilling season, get these dogs. It's an amazing deal. I am a creature of habit, and one thing Leilani and I like to do pretty much every day during the week is have a cold brew coffee after lunch. Gives us some pep for the rest of the day. This is, I believe it's called stock coffee, and it says cold brew and it's unflavored. So you, you might think, yeah, it's Bobby approved, I'll get it. Bobby always says read the ingredients because you never know what's lurking or better yet, scan it with my free Bobby approved app. And sure enough, it's water, coffee, and natural flavor but why is the natural flavor in there if it's just regular coffee that's not french vanilla or whatever that's the one of the most mystery items ever because the flavor of coffee in my book is great so that's not bobby approved and while the starbucks one is bobby approved here because it's just water and coffee and technically it's not cold brew it's just iced coffee it's a little pricey which is why i want to show you a great deal on bobby approved cold brew right over here Right over here, my friends, on the Aldi Finds wall, boom, Aldi brand cold brew coffee concentrate. Let's check the ingredients to make sure there's no natural flavors. Phew. Filtered water and coffee. More importantly, that Starbucks one was $1.50 per serving. If you look at the servings and the price, this one has eight servings and it's $8. It's 50% cheaper than the Starbucks one. And in my opinion, probably superior. Why? The Starbucks one wasn't cold brew coffee. It was iced coffee. Cold brew has lower acid. Lower acid is more tummy friendly. So in this case, forego the Starbucks, forego the Stoke with the natural flavors, get this one, not the toasted coconut one, that has natural flavors. Get this one, make your own iced cold brew at home, boom, you're winning summer. There's not too many items on the Aldi Finds wall, but this is actually a great side dish for summer grilling. Let's say you get that butterfly leg of lamb, or you make some burgers or something on the grill. This is mashed palmini hearts of palm, but in true Aldi fashion, they said it's hearts of palm potatoes. <laughs> which is hilarious. The packet is $3.49. This is lovely because if you want a low carb mash or you're diabetic or just counting carbs, look at this. The whole package of mashed hearts of palm has six net carbs and six grams of fiber. I would call this one serving. Six grams of fiber is a lot. What's the benefit of fiber rich food? Yeah, it adds heft to your movements, but fiber rich foods are called prebiotics. They feed your gut bacteria. This is amazing. I would probably warm this up, add a knob of grass-fed butter, the one here from Aldi, and you'd be good to go. So hearts of palm potatoes are Bobby approved here at Aldi. And speaking of prebiotics and probiotics, Leilani, who's holding the camera, just saw this. This is Karma Water. Karma, the song by Taylor Swift, is great. Rose and I dance to it almost every day. But 
we're starting to put probiotics in everything and the quality of the probiotics is always so questionable, but this is a probiotic water with probiotics, natural flavoring, and five grams of added sugar per serving. Probiotics are living bacteria, but fun fact, what does sugar do to the bacteria in your tum-tum? kills them dead dead as a doornail so that kind of a product is a joke i have it with me but if you want real probiotics you're not going to get awesome ones in foods like that you might get some decent ones in fermented sauerkraut and yogurt but nothing beats seed probiotic they're a longtime supporter of the channel and i know last month i had a ridiculous 40 percent off promo code that expired i was able to talk them into giving 25 percent off your first month supply for this month but seed for adults or seed for kids is in my opinion the best probiotic on the market because not only are the custom strains 24 for the adult and nine for the kids best in class they survive your tummy acids to actually make it to your colon to deliver the payload and that really helps with movements skin health immune health so if you're in the market for a probiotic adults or kids click my link down below 25 percent off your first month supply free shipping flat rate shipping all around the world and 30 days risk-free seed is best in class you will love it I've looked at every chip seven ways to Sunday here at Aldi and none are Bobby approved because of seed oils. For example, this is a multi-grain organic tortilla chip, but cooked in sunflower oil. This is just a regular good old non-GMO organic corn chip, but cooked in vegetable oil, sunflower or safflower or canola oil. That's the bad news. The good news is they have one of the best salsas on the market for a ridiculous price. Organic salsa, thick and chunky. 269 for organic salsa is crazy i've tried it i like it i still don't love it as much as my favorite frontera double roasted tomato salsa but look at the ingredients they're all real organic ingredients the only issue is cane sugar but look here it's less than one gram per two tablespoon serving so i'm going to call it allowable and bobby approved in fact it was a couple months ago i made a reel with leilani where i made a budget Aldi inspired breakfast quesadilla and I dipped it into this it was lovely so chips no at Aldi but salsa either thick and chunky mild medium or hot all Bobby approved you want to see the perfect sweet summer treat to have by the pool or at the beach it's these it's the coconut cashew crisp and I know I've talked about them in the past it's worth repeating especially now because hello hello 30 cents off it's such a unique treat that I've not even seen outside of Aldi. So it's a crisp that I never imagined would be Bobby approved. It is. It's coconut sugar based. You combine coconut sugar with salt, you get the salted caramel, but it's also coconut meat based with cashews and a touch of cassava flour. Best of all, yes, it's delicious, but eight cookies only has six grams of coconut sugar. That's less than one per cookie. That is such a great treat for a ridiculous price. Chocolate has a couple more grams of sugar. Totally fine and Bobby approved, but you still have to read the ingredients because the vanilla is not Bobby approved because of, you guessed it, natural vanilla flavor and natural almond flavor. So put those down. I would get salted caramel for the win. All right, family, that is it for part one of what to buy at Aldi for the summer. Like I said, there's so many items. Part two is dropping tomorrow morning, so make sure to check that out. Like, subscribe, share, spread that Flav City love. But from Aldi, one of my favorite grocery stores, I leave you until tomorrow. Hashtag keep on cooking. May I love and peace. Later.